Michelle choked him so bad that he died. Hello everyone, this is user one. Today we're going to be watching a replay of a situation that happened with Michelle. So uh, things kind of escalated and Michelle actually wound up killing somebody. So uh, basically this individual here, Manuel Fiercoro, uh, you know, he smashed Michelle's phone because she was recording him. Michelle was recording him because he misplaced her bike with that Glendale there you see over there. And basically, yeah, the, the cops the cops are arguing with him, and as you can see, this officer here is uh, getting upset with him. And yeah, uh, Michelle's getting upset because she believes that the cops are not doing enough. So what happened here is uh, <laughs> quite quite hilarious. And as you can see, I'm taking a lot of screenshots. I actually have more screenshots of the situation beforehand. Uh, that's what I usually do to document it quite well, because chat logs by themselves are not sufficient evidence, but uh, screenshots are, and you always have to have other character. Oh, look at that. That's when uh, stuff happens, and I reflexively just punch him immediately. That's just the reflex that I have. But anyway, yeah, that I did that to indicate that Michelle would, you know, reflexively jump on manual, and that's what she did. She grabbed him in a headlock. Uh, basically, what he did is he went for uh, Alexia's gun to try to strip it out from him because he was gonna get arrested for damage to property uh, but basically yeah uh, <laughs> I look at this he screams I'll shoot all of you uh, Michelle screams motherfucker get off him even though it's supposed to be her I, 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 I fixed that later yeah but yeah at this point you know in role play a lot of stuff is at stake your reputation your you, your characters have criminal records uh, your lives, you can go to prison and spend a lot of time in there. It's just, you know, it's very, it's very crazy how stuff like this develops. And you can never predict it, that's why I like it. But basically what turned out was that <laughs> Michelle choked him so bad that he died. He legitimately died. That's what he roleplayed. He roleplayed dying after being choked out. Which is, uh, I don't know, that's a little extreme, but hey, that's, that's fine. I mean, any kind of violence can lead to death, which is why we try to prevent violence as much as possible. But obviously in a situation where a cop is attacked, uh, can't speak, when a cop is attacked and when somebody's trying to steal their gun, I think their intent is quite clear. Not to, not to mention the fact that he did literally scream, I'll shoot all of you. So, you know, Michelle was just trying to basically, she did it. Kind of for her reputation of being like a uh, a self-defense enthusiast. So basically that's, that, but that's only one of the reasons. Another reason is she genuinely believes that, you know, that cop has no reason to die. I, I, she doesn't wish death on anybody except people trying to wish death on other people, basically. That's what Michelle is. And I think a lot of people have been confused about my character. Because she ends up killing a lot of people. But the thing is, the reason that she does end up killing a lot of people is because these people are hostile. In a video game environment, people don't value their lives as much as they do in real life, obviously, because they can just respawn and play more. I, I'm sure if uh, every character was forced to character kill uh, every time, then uh, this wouldn't happen. And in fact, it doesn't happen. And in fact, we can, I can show you some games like Half-Life 2 Roleplay where, uh, you know, people it doesn't in fact happen and people treat their lives way more seriously. But uh, in a video game like this, where, uh, you know, you can just respawn, people, you know, they don't roleplay valuing their lives as much, so they can just literally die out of nowhere. Uh, so, what this just means is that hostile situations like this happen far more commonly in this video game than they would in real life. But does it mean that these situations would never happen in real life? No, sometimes, you know, life is unpredictable and anything can happen in real life. Uh, but basically, yeah. Somebody slapped Michelle's phone out of her hands. She was recording them because they misplaced her bike, uh, saying that, oh, you can't park in a, in a car spot. Uh, as you can see, Michelle's bike is the red one on the, on the floor right there. And, uh, yeah, she was just recording him. And, you know, it's legal to record anyone in any United States state because it's part of freedom of expression. I mean, if somebody's uh, doing something to your property, you would want to be able to record them, right? But yeah, basically Michelle is just complaining that the cops that showed up 
she she had the video of the person slapping her phone out of her hands, and she showed it to the cops, and then the c- guy literally confessed to slapping the phone out of her hands, and for 15 minutes nothing happened. Now I I'm not going out character with this at all. Like with the way everybody role played, I am extremely satisfied. Like there were there was legitimately no nobody going into out of character at all. Nobody went slash B, nobody PM'd me with any kind of harassment. This was amazing. Amazing uh, roleplay situation, and I, quite frankly, very much enjoyed it. Uh, but Michelle was clearly upset that nobody did anything. In fact, yeah, we have Anderson Cole literally PMing me. I'm a huge fan. <laughs> uh, guys, I, I, I appreciate it when you do PM me, stuff like that. Uh, but I have to ask that you, like, uh, don't, because... You, 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 I don't know, it's just... When uh, I, 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 it's so hard to ask for you to not do that, but at the same time, at the same time, uh, it when everybody's doing it, sometimes it gets a little spammy. You know what I mean? And I can't respond respond because sometimes it literally can cause my characters to die. Because uh, if I if I don't uh, respond to an ongoing situation, then. Uh, <laughs> then I can literally be killed. Especially with Michelle's situation, where so many people literally try to murder Michelle, but Michelle uh, ends up killing them back half of the time, you know. The times that she dies, thankfully I can just uh, avoid them and ignore them from her story and continue on. So obviously, if a character like Michelle existed uh, in real life, then I, I, I don't know... Uh, you know, in, in real life, you know, you don't have so many situations like this. You don't have so many situations where people are constantly trying to kill you. But in a video game like this, and with the out-of-character reputation that I have to deal with, you know, you have a lot of people that dislike my content, that they will they will dislike me literally for no reason, and they have admitted it. Uh, which, I appreciate the honesty, I always appreciate the honesty. Uh, but yeah, this is a new section, by the way, this is a new segment on my channel that I like to call uh, Discussions, where I just literally talk about my opinions, because I don't think I've... I, I think I don't... Well, first of all, I don't think I upload enough content, but... Uh, second of all, I just want to, you know, talk about my opinions sometimes, because I feel like a lot, some people might be interested. Look at that. So now Michelle is doing something a little controversial. She's cheering that the guy she choked is dead in front of the cops, which is quite interesting. You would think she'd get arrested for murder, and a lot of people did think that on the scene, but she was not arrested for murder because, you see, murder is a, 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 a planned killing of a person. It's, it's when you plan to kill somebody for a malicious reason which a malicious reason is anything other than like self-defense basically that's that's it yeah, self-defense is literally the only reason you can kill somebody for so um that's <laughs> any other reason is malicious and if you plan to kill somebody that's murder um but michelle actually didn't murder someone she killed them yeah that she killed them. and then there is a difference i have i have looked this up <laughs> um because I was, you know, curious about, you know, the law about this. And, in fact, it turns out that it's a human right to defend life. It's your human right to defend yourself as long as that's necessary. And it's your human right to defend other people. So Michelle was completely in her right to defend that law enforcement officer, Alexia, who got uh, who got attacked by M- Manuel. Now, and, and that's what she's arguing right now with Richard. And, uh, yeah, she believes that Richard and uh, the other cop that was there that I don't remember were... <laughs> look at it, she's literally screaming, I'm a fucking hero! Which is, you know, <laughs> always a... Uh, it's a controversial, it's very... Uh, it's somewhat egoistic. I don't know, I don't know, it's... Would you brand somebody a hero who just killed somebody to save a life? I mean, yeah, that's debatable. That is debatable, I would say. There was a debate going on about this thing that I made on Little Suppy Forum that I've talked about before in my video about how to DM, uh, which wasn't actually a video about how to DM, it was just like a stereoty- like a, like a, just a discussion about uh, how I feel like LSRP's rules are not just fair and they're not enforced equally and whatnot. But anyway, uh, that discussion got shut down immediately after I advertised it in the video, which, you know, kind of shuts down any kind of discussion. But that's why I started this, this kind of, uh, this kind of a series where you can make your own comments in the comment section. I always read them. I always read like most of the most of the comments that I can read. 
Uh, I don't get that many comments, so I can pretty much read all of them. But, you know, I appreciate all comments, including criticism. Uh, I also appreciate that. So if something is not perfect, which it never is, I would appreciate if you point it out, because, you know... Uh, right now, Michelle is arguing about the point that, oh, killing and murder are different things, which, you know, I guess uh, is a moot point. She did end up killing somebody, and she's not going to prison, which is a shock to me, to be honest. <laughs> it's like a, a bit of a shock that she just killed somebody in front of a, in front of a police and uh, is not going to prison. But to be fair, she didn't break any laws. She only killed that person. She wasn't intending to kill that person. She was just intending to stop that person from... Uh, killing a cop and now she's arguing with the cops that uh, came to the scene didn't know what was happening got got pretty, probably just got overwhelmed with a bunch of stuff and uh, again I just want to point this out a millionth time okay I want to keep in character separated for, for out of character as much as possible just because my character has any kind of conflict with another character does not mean that I personally have any problem with the person playing that character that is not true at all uh, same reason why I, why people you you are not your character I don't see why people have such a big problem understanding that it's a roleplay server the whole concept of roleplay is to play a character and you know I like to make characters that are you know somewhat different Michelle Jepson is certainly one of my characters that's really focused on the self-defense and the public defense aspect and also freedom of expression so that's the that, that's the thing that she's focused on uh, and I tried to make my characters different Gloria Mendoza was focused about being like law-abiding 100% Michelle Jefferson not so much so like for example okay Michelle Jefferson uh, does not have a firearms license anymore in Red County and in Los Santos but Nevertheless, she's gonna carry a gun. Why? Because she would rather be able to defend herself than be a law-abiding citizen. That's... yeah. But would Gloria do that? Would Gloria Mendoza do that? No. Gloria Mendoza would not do that. Uh, Ivan Khrushchev would probably not even bother carrying a gun. <laughs> Uh, so I tried to just make my characters different. J Jason Davis... J Jason Davis is my literally like a con artist. Uh, <laughs> individual but he probably won't carry a gun either unless he has a specific reason Michelle Jefferson just carries a self-defense weapon at all times basically uh, to be able to defend herself and others apparently and yes this isn't the first time that Michelle Jefferson has saved a life of a police officer <laughs> she has done so in uh, Los Santos too and she's not planning to stop anytime soon yeah she will probably use a, an illegal firearm to defend life because uh, possession of an illegal firearm is not such a big crime to her, especially considering she technically has a felony on her record. And uh, I wanna, I, wanna, I also want to clarify about so something about Michelle. I actually made this character on Red County Roleplay, and and this kind of became like one of my main characters in the past couple of years. Uh, and I'm really happy with the way Michelle Jefferson's story has turned out. It has definitely gone up and down and left and right, and it definitely. Uh, goes into depth about just problems that people suffer when they stand up against uh, what's a popular opinion, you know? When they try to just just go with their own path, you know? They're not just going with what everybody else uh, tells them to do. Which I think I already expressed in my previous video where I talked about, you know, it, it, was, it was a kind of a controversial video. Uh, and I, it did get demonetized immediately just for the title. And so did the video before that. Clearly YouTube does not want uh, videos that are thought-provoking. They want videos that are advertiser-friendly, which is, you know... <laughs> uh, if I have a hope of making any kind of dent on my, uh, you know, life expenses with YouTube, I, I probably need to start following that, unfortunately, which goes against what, what I was going for this whole time, but no, I'm not gonna lose, I'm not gonna go, I'm, I'm gonna, I'm not gonna lose my character, okay? Uh, I'm not gonna sacrifice my characters, I'm not gonna sacrifice the story for any reason at all. I'm gonna go with what I believe makes a, an, an interesting character, and I'm sorry if that offends anybody. I'm sorry if anybody gets upset that I and that I'm not doing anything conventional. You know that I'm not role playing just uh, 
just a white guy with no family who comes in uh, and he's 18 years old and he's a millionaire and he drives a sports car <laughs> sorry guys okay i'm not role playing something that's conventional i'm just role playing to make a story i want to make a character story and that's what i'm doing right now and another thing i try to do is i try to push limits of these organizations i want i want to see i want to put them in complicated situations because isn't that fun isn't challenge fun that's what I think. I think challenge is fun. I like a challenge, and I think when, and I think other people should like challenge because challenge helps you improve as a person. Uh, not only will these characters develop, but also the people playing these characters will now know how to deal with certain situations. Possibly, you know what I mean. Uh, now they will be more aware of situations that could possibly potentially occur in real life. Now, of course, like I said, these situations happen far too frequently in this video game than in real life. But yeah, uh, what's happening now is actually quite interesting, uh, because uh, Richard is arguing that because of Michelle's last... Wait, wait, wait did that happen already? I... I basically, uh, basically uh, I think at one point Richard argued that Michelle is not standing up for self-defense because she has uh, murder and evasion charges. Now, I want to clarify something. Michelle does not have any murder charges. Now, she technically has murder entries, but they were voided and, uh, like, d discredited by internal affairs. So, technically, Michelle Jepson does not have murder charges. And like I said, does this mean that she hasn't killed people? I mean, she literally killed a person in this episode. But, um... No, uh, yeah, she has killed people before, but tip, she only does this in self-defense and defense of life. That's what I want to make clear, okay? Killing is okay only if it's necessary in defense of life. Hurting somebody is okay only in defense of life. So you can defend yourself, you can defend somebody else. It's your human right. It's not granted to you by government, though it's, it's nice if a government does recognize it. Otherwise, the government is tyrannical. But... Uh, it is granted to you upon birth. Everybody has that right. It's a human right to defend your life and to defend the life of anybody around you that you reasonably believe to be in imminent threat. Uh, just make sure you don't overdo it. Obviously, if, if some drunk, you know, stumbles about and goes, I'm gonna kill you, they're not really an imminent threat to you. Don't pull out your Uzi and start blasting them, okay? Uh, you know. And I believe I've made mistakes in the past, but I think we, we are actually closing in on what I'm happy of Michelle. And, and Michelle has made mistakes in the past. She legitimately has committed crimes in Red County when she was, when she, when she was like a teenager. And I've roleplayed this character for so long that I, I think I started when I was 18. And I, I think I made Michelle like 19 years old or something like that. So basically, yeah, Michelle made mistakes before, but now she's changed. And that's what I want to emphasize on. Anybody can change. Anybody can improve. And also, <laughs> David decided to hop on the back of the bike. Uh, some would argue that I take roleplay too seriously, but... Isn't that the point? Isn't the point of hardcore roleplay is to be taken seriously? And Red, Co Red County roleplay and Los Santos roleplay both want to be seen as hardcore roleplay servers. So, yeah. Isn't that the point? Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know how you feel about this format in general. And uh, yeah, stay awesome. Hope you have a good day.